everyone's admitted that this project uh, amounts to a death sentence for the southern resident orcas, but what the board has said is this is justified in the circumstances uh, because of what they uh, are arguing is the, uh, the economic benefits. My question for Justin Trudeau is, what is the calculus? Do you have an, a, a, an algorithm for when it's worth wiping a species off this planet? Is one job enough? Don't rush to get your shovels back in the ground because the legal fight isn't over. That's what several BC politicians are saying after the NEB endorses the Trans Mountain Pipeline, a project that would see an increase in tanker traffic here in English Bay and across BC waters. You know, I, I don't really see any way this pipeline can go forward, uh, both in terms of the, the cost of the environment, but also in terms of reconciliation and Indigenous uh, rights. We firmly believe that uh, there's no way that the risk involved with this project is worth going down this road of, of tripling the amount of, of uh, that fuel that will be coming into our city. It's the second time the National Energy Board has approved the controversial pipeline expansion, this time with 16 new recommendations for the federal government, including a marine oil spill response and measures to offset increased risks of marine mammal strikes. BC's Premier voicing his disapproval, writing, I remain convinced Trans Mountain is not in the best interest of British Columbians. We will continue to stand up for BC and defend our environment. Still huge concerns for me about this. I'm still deeply opposed to this project. The mayor of Vancouver has been a vocal opponent of the pipeline. Last year, then as an MP, Stewart was arrested along with Green Party leader Elizabeth May for defying a court injunction that banned protesters from disrupting the Burnaby construction site. They have overturned other pipelines. So, for example, the Energy East pipeline, they said, oh no, that's too risky for Ontario and Quebec. So they cancelled that one. So why should British Columbia take all the risk uh, for no rewards? Opponents argue the Energy Board made the same mistakes that landed them in court the first time, which ended with the project's approval being overturned by a federal judge. I would be very surprised if at the end of the day something, you know, that these decisions don't end up uh, before a court before too long. In Vancouver, Isabel Regem, City News.